Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm so excited to share you guys a topic that I've been very passionate about and learning a lot about in the past week, and that is pathfinding algorithms. So let's talk about it. So if I were to show you this animation on the street, what would you tell me? You'd probably say, what the hell is this? And now that you see the rest of it, you're like, okay, there's like some maze here. Uh, there are like these two green things and everything else is black or gray. And there's like this blue creeping thing that's trying to get to the other green one. So let me explain. This is actually the A star algorithm and implementation in an animation. So there's an end and start node. So we're trying to find, and the goal of the A star algorithm is to try to find the shortest path between two nodes, our start node and our end node. So you see the animation demonstrates the algorithm going through a set of um, squares and going through the maze and then identifying that the shortest path between point A and point B, the green and the red, is to go a certain path down here, uh, maneuver around, and then ultimately get to the end point. So how is this even useful in real life? Well, a couple of really major apps use these algorithms and that's navigation apps like Google Maps and Waze. And then subsequently DoorDash, Postmates, and Uber Lyft. So for example, if you're going, trying to go from home to work, a pathfinding algorithm would identify based on var variable uh, traffic around you, roads, streets, uh, the time it takes to go between traffic lights, what is the best path from home to work or work to home? So now let's actually talk about the ASTAR algorithm, its implementation, how it can be used. So let's consider this tree. All right, we have these purple nodes and don't get too uh, flustered by this. We have these purple nodes uh, denoted by letters A, B, C, D, E, and Z. Now Z is not labeled with any numbers. It doesn't have an orange number around it and it doesn't have you know, a black number to the right of it. So Z is our goal node. All right, what do these black and orange numbers mean? What is the goal of the A-star algorithm? I'm about to get into it. But before we go on, just make sure to pause the video, look at this tree, see if you can find any patterns or any similarities between the numbers around the nodes or anything that would indicate some kind of pattern. Okay, now let, let me explain what this means in the context of the A-star algorithm. So, First, we should define cost. And cost is the distance from some goal node, Z, to other nodes, okay? Now, the goal of the A-star algorithm is to have the smallest cost from node to node to, to ultimately end up to, at the goal. So the smallest cost from node to node, let's remember that, smallest cost from node to node. And cost is the distance from goal node to other nodes. Well, the orange number in this tree is an estimated number of cost, an estimated value for cost. And the black number is the distance between two points. Now, the shortest path from A to Z is not just to go like this. It's not to go from A to B and B to D and D to Z. Maybe it's to go from uh, A to C and then C to E and then E to Z or A, B, C, D, E, Z. I don't know. So. The A-star algorithm allows a computer to be able to understand what is the shortest path based on cost to get to the gold node. And so now we can calculate cost. Cost is a function of n, f of n, is equal to the distance of a path from the start node, so for example from A, to the nth node, to any random node. So the nth node could be B, C, D, or E in our case. And h of n, which is a heuristic that I'm gonna talk about in a minute, is the estimated cost from the nth value or the nth node to the end. Let me explain what this means a little bit more in detail so you understand what's going on. Okay, so we're talking about heuristics and estimating cost. Let's recall that cost is the distance from goal node to the other nodes. Okay. Now let's recall our equation cost equals distance of path from the start to nth node to an estimated cost and h of n is estimated cost from the nth node to the end. Okay. h of n 
is an estimated value from the nth node to the goal or end node. The simplest way to calculate h of n is to use a Euclidean distance formula, which means in a 2D space, we have two points with x, y values you can see here. All right, 1.1 1. 1 has x, y values of x1, y1, and 0. 0.2 has x, y values of x2, y2. Now, the easiest way to calculate the distance between these two, the shortest distance between these two points, is using the distance formula. And if you're a high school student, I think you know this formula. Maybe you hate it, maybe you love it. I'm not sure if you guys like math or not. So the distance formula is the square root of the x values, the x start uh, value minus the x end value squared, plus the y start value minus the y end value squared. And that's how we find the distance between one point to another. So that's the way we calculate h of n. So remember, h of n is an estimated value from the nth node to the goal or end node. And this is only one way of calculating um, h of n or uh, our heuristic value. There are many other ways um, that we can calculate the heuristic value. But in this case, I want to keep it super, super, super simple. So now we remember that cost is equal to the distance of a path from start to the nth node and h of n is equal to the estimated cost from nth node to the end. Let's revisualize this because to be honest, it's not as intuitive as it may seem as soon as you see this next innovation. Okay, so let's revisualize this and kind of go back to the core of the A star algorithm. So you have this green node, okay? You have this green node and you have this yellow node. You're trying to go from the green node to the yellow node. I'd like you to look at this animation and think clearly. What does the F value mean? What does the G value mean? And what does the H value mean? Why are these specific squares being circled or actually highlighted in red? Just observe for a second, why are these specific squares being highlighted in red? Okay, so if you are able to understand what's going on, great, that's great for you, I'm so happy. And if you weren't, that's totally okay, let's go through it. So F is total cost. G is our distance from the start to an nth node, and H is our heuristic. What do we see a pattern where the red highlighted squares have something and the red and the other squares do not. So if you look at the, for example, the F value, the F value of this red highlighted square is 6.4. The, the values around it, the F value around it are a lot larger. Why would this be highlighted? Because it has the lowest cost. The lowest cost means the lowest addition, the lowest value as a result of adding the G and the H value. And so that's why 6.4 is highlighted because it has the lowest cost in its area and 5.8 is highlighted because it has the lowest cost in its subsequent area. And then 5.2 is highlighted because it also has a lower cost in subsequent modes. And we ultimately get to the end goal, which has an H value of zero because um, when we get to our goal node, the H value is equal to zero. Pretty cool, right? This is awesome. So let's revisualize this again and say we have some input. Um, so we have like a bunch of lists of like zeros and ones. What is this like binary? What is this? What does this mean? All right. So imagine you were getting like some maze. All right. And the ones were indicating walls. Okay. And you are supposed to find the shortest path between this mess to the end. And this zero is the start and this zero is the end the algorithm would output this. Basically, a, a system of numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, which would show you the shortest path to get from point A to point B. Pretty cool. So that is the A star um, algorithm in, in practice. That's what it would look like if you're inputting some set of numbers. And so let's go back to this animation. Think about every square as its own distinct zero or one. The blacks being the, the black uh, squares being the ones and the gray squares being the zeros. Look at this animation. And now I'm gonna ask you guys a question. We see the start to end, yeah, okay, fine. I'm gonna ask you, what the hell is this? And most likely you'll answer, this is the A star algorithm. 
Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you learned something from this video. I had so much fun creating this presentation and presenting it. I hope you guys like and subscribe down below. You guys have been blowing up the channel recently. We got almost like 700 views on the last video. I'm so happy to see the growth. I hope you guys support down below and I will see you guys in a video in a couple of days. Thank you guys so much and peace.